Radar. Radar is a method of detecting distant objects and determining their position, velocity, or other characteristics by analysis of very high frequency radio waves reflected from their surfaces. The word radar stands for radio detection and ranging. Several inventors, scientists, and engineers contributed to the development of radar. The first to use radio waves to detect the presence of distant metallic objects was Christian Holzmann. Whether it's mounted on a plane, a ship, or anything else, radar set needs the same basic set of components, something to generate radio waves, something to send them out into space, something to receive them, and some means of displaying information so the radar operator can quickly understand it. The radar waves are generated by a piece of equipment called a magnetron. Radio waves are similar to light. They are made up of fluctuating patterns of electrical and magnetic energy, just like the light waves, and they travel at the same speed. But your waves have much longer wavelengths and higher frequencies. Once the radio waves have been generated, an antenna working as a transmitter hurls them into space. The antenna is usually curved so it focuses the waves into a precise, narrow beam but radar antennas also typically rotate so that they can detect movements over a large area. The radio waves travel outward from the antenna at the speed of light and keep going until they hit something. Then some of them bounce back towards the antenna in a beam of reflected radio waves also traveling at the speed of light. Any reflected radio waves picked up by the antenna are directed into a piece of computerized electronic equipment that processes and displays them in a meaningful form on a television-like screen, watched all the time by a human operator. The receiving equipment filters out useless reflection from the ground, buildings and so on, displaying only significant reflections on the screen itself. Using radar, an operator can see any nearby ships or planes, where they are, how quickly they are traveling, and where they are heading. There's one more important piece of equipment in the radar apparatus. It's called a duplexer and it makes the antenna swap back and forth between being a transmitter and a receiver. Radar is something that is in use all around us, although it is normally invisible. Air traffic control uses radar to track planes both on the ground and in the air and also to guide planes in for smooth landings. Police use radar to detect the speed of passing motorists. NASA uses radar to map the Earth and other planets to track satellites and space debris and to help with things like docking and maneuvering.